Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Marina Rodriguez. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Jessica Badeus You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, early round action is upon us, and what else can be said about the career of one Jessica Andrade? Wins in three different weight classes, a promoter's dream. And stylistically, she is about as fun to watch as any fighter in the women's game at present. As far as this matchup goes, power was the buzzword coming out of here in our fighter meeting on Wednesday. Man, she's worth the price of admission. This fight is just getting underway, and Jessica Andrade, the bull that she is, already just throwing wayward hooks left her. I love her. <laughs> I love the way that she fights, John, because she leaves nothing to be desired. She goes forward, and she is just throwing these big shots around the body. And the moment you get out of position, she'll grab you and just throw you on top of your head. She is a bull in a china shop, and she wants to break everything. And it all starts throwing those hooks from both sides, left and right. Oh, nice job by the kickboxer there to stay upright. That takedown attempt would have put her on the floor earlier in her mixed martial arts career. She's working hard. Yeah, she's working very hard at getting better, but you can see the awareness now. Her understanding of how to move defensively whenever she gets hit with a takedown attempt. Beautiful to see her evolution inside the octagon. It's a really high striking pace for these two. Well, hard to see exactly where she is cut, but it's somewhere around that eye area. Doesn't look great. It's never good to get cut, but right now it's a small one. You don't have to worry about it, but you got to protect it. Beautiful kick lands there. Oh, high level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Rodriguez. Keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Andrade. Nice pass. Try to get some space to get up. You need to fight down. Massive knee to the body. Man. Good straight hand there by Rodriguez. It won't take many of those. Big knee. could be looking at an epic comeback here. She rocked her significantly, but wasn't able to finish the fight, and now her opponent maybe creeps back in. Her opponent will now try to find a way to work her way back into the fight. It would be on her to once again land one of those brutal punches to try to knock her out this time. Rodriguez is now dealing with a cheat cut. Man, how crisp, DC, is this boxing on Jessica Andrade? So loyal when it comes to her original head coach, Guillard Arana, and he has got to like what he sees out of his student here tonight. Oh, that one landed, yep. Oh, great block there. Andrade gets tattooed by that straight punch. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Nice job there by the top. Guillotine jump. She's so smart, John. She maintained position over submission. That's rule number one. Attacking on ball. Ooh, she might have this here. That's tight. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Black Belt on Josh to get out for now. Oh, a 
effective utilization of the ground and pound here by Andrade. Well, submission offense is somewhat of a lost art in modern day MMA, but she knows what she's doing, and yet the defensive fighter continues to thwart her. Especially off your bat. She's so good off of her bat that she's given herself a chance to get these submissions. But her opponent is so gifted defensively. She's so responsible. She's doing a great job of just staying safe every time her opponent tries to submit. Oh, big Superman punch there. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, let's take a look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC Chief among it. The big knockdown courtesy of that punch. A big knockdown off of that punch. She was flowing, letting everything go, and then she sat down on that strike that put her opponent down. It looked like the fight was over, but we do go forward. You ready to fight? Ready. Second Go. round underway. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, the right hand has been there for her tonight at times. Not that time. Went for the inside leg kick. Body shot there. Well, she ain't cocky, but she is confident, and why not? Big knockdown in the previous round. She appears to have the striking advantage. She's doing everything right. That's what led her to getting that knockdown to finish that earlier round. All right, so she told us in the fighter meeting the body shots were going to be key, and they certainly have been. She invested early, and now you're starting to see some damage on the other side. Yeah, she's doing a great job of following the game plan. She spoke to us in the fighter meeting about going to the body, about investing, not worrying about seeing the outcome right away. And it's starting to show now as the fight gets on. All right, so a storyline developing. You see a cut has been opened around her eye. She's got a cut on her eye. She's been getting hit in that same spot. The cut's nothing too big right now. But if she doesn't protect it, it'll get a lot worse. All right, so her ground control is outstanding. Half guard is when she's at her most dangerous. Yes, she's at her most dangerous when she has a half guard because she's so brutal with the grounded pound. She likes to go after fighters and really wear on them, force them to make decisions to give their backs so that she can chase her submissions or they're going to lay on their back and just get beaten up from the top from that beautiful half guard position. This is a terrible position. So we hit the three minute mark here in the second round. Well, you know she can do it all in the octagon tonight. She is largely a striker and man has she had it going really from the opening belt. From the start of the fight, you could see that she was different tonight. You could see that she was going to lean on the cardio set a high pace and hope that her opponent could not keep up. But not only is she fighting hard, she is landing just about everything that she throws. Andrade is able to transition back to side control now. Man, Mark Coleman would be proud. Her ground and pound game is on point. Andrade is in half guard now. All right, so just as we saw in the previous round, she is realizing a lot of success with her kickboxing game tonight, and you can see the confidence growing with every strike landed. It's overwhelming for her opponent to be in there with her when she's in this flow state. She's so good at everything she's doing that now the activity is starting to pick up. If she can continue to fight in this way, I wouldn't be surprised if this fight gets finished. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, Jonathan, he just gets up. Oh, just out of range with that right hand. 90 seconds to go.
just misses with the right. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. All right, so that body continues to get ripped up. The judges are looking for damage and damaging moments, and her body investment has been the narrative in this fight. Early, you may not have been able to see how much of an effect this was taking on her, but now you see it. The game plan, everything's clear now, and we'll see her continue to do that as she tries to chase down the finish. Let's get it going. Come on. Oh! Huge right hand! She's trying to pound her head through the canvas. That strike opened up a cut. Hammer fist here by Marina Rodriguez. She's trying to pass the guard here. Ooh, unable to do so. Nice denial by the bottom fight. Great recognition in the grappling transitions. Way to maintain that guard. Round three next. Hey, stop. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and what a round it was for her. We talked about her power off the top of the show, and she certainly put it on full display there. Power is what identifies her. She got her hands going, was able to land a big shot, got the knockdown, didn't get the finish. But if she's patient, sets everything up again, maybe she'll find the finish in this round. All right, so we will see another round here. Sat her opponent down there in that previous round with a punch. Surprisingly, surprisingly, we are going forward because I thought it was over. I saw that punch land. We started to yell. We started to scream. We thought the fight was done, but we moved forward because her opponent is so tough, but she's so skilled that she can get there Ready again. Ready fight. Ready. Third round underway. Oh, she continues to punish the body yet again here, just as she did in the previous round. Marina Rodriguez gets caught by that straight punch there. Beautiful kick lands. Well, she's leaking a lot of blood now. That cut is getting worse with every strike land. And the blood is flying. Her confidence is growing. She will continue to try and target that cut until someone has to come in here, bring side position, and stop the fight. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Well, her body has really absorbed a lot of shots in this fight, and now you're starting to see some of that redness, the visible damage. You've got to make an adjustment, I would think. She's got to make an adjustment. I mean, she has to do something different. Right now, she is a step behind her opponent. Every time her opponent gives her a feint, she overreacts, and then bang, here comes the body attack. She's got to take the lead if she wants to stay in this fight. Oh, nice takedown defense. She does a great job breaking that clinch position. And that will do it! Oh, my goodness! All right, so she gets the flush knockout here tonight, and you got to think this is going to lead to a lot of big fights the rest of the way this year. Big opportunities are presented after you have a performance like this. She did an amazing job and got a massive knockout victory. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 30 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Marina Rodriguez! Well, you see the raw emotions and the happiness out of her in her corner. What a result here tonight as she gets it done by knockout. I mean, she could not have imagined that it would go this well. I know she said it would happen, but when it does, I mean, it's joy. It's joy like nothing you've ever felt before. You don't expect it.